What's up guys? So like a full 360 from our last few videos at least. We were fishing in 80 degree water where air temperature was probably also around 80 degrees. But now I'm fishing this little creek and air temperature when I left the car was 42 degrees and I gotta believe the water temperature is even lower than that. So we're all bundled up, completely different style fishing. I got my little ultralight gear here, six pound test on a, I think it's a seven foot ultralight. And we're gonna be throwing this first, a little Panther Martin spinner there. And uh, this is the only one I brought, so I'm gonna try my hardest not to get it snagged. And I got a feeling there's some trout in here. I did a little hike yesterday around this area and I saw some fish. And actually at the end of the hike, I saw what was a good sized brown trout, probably I don't know, it had to be around 18 inches or so. The video doesn't do it justice, and uh, I wish I had my fishing pole then, but unfortunately I didn't, so. Came back this morning, a little bit different spot, hoping to find some fish here. I think there's some rainbow trout in here. We ran past this spot yesterday and I saw a few in here. So hopefully, we can land a few. Let's get started. First cast. A lot of times in creeks like this, the first cast is going to tell you how your day is going to go. This is this water is super clear. Didn't see anything there. This water is super clear. If I had lighter line, like a four pound test, I think that'd be even better. Okay, so I threw the spin around, didn't even get a follow at all, so I'm going to switch it up a little bit. I got a little tiny little fly here, well actually, as far as flies go, this is probably not that small, it's probably, they go a lot smaller than this. I don't have a fly rod, but I do have a spinning rod, and I don't know if you can see that, let's bring it in closer, a little bubble here, and that's going to give me a little bit of weight to flick that fly out, and then I'm just going to let it drift down naturally with the uh, current here and hopefully we can at least get some follows on this one. Oh, fish on. Oh, I had one. Dang it. Dang. Okay, we had a bite. That's a good sign. Dang, how did he not get hooked? Another small change from our last video. Last video. We were using 40 pound test. Now we're using four pound test.
All right, guys, we gave the fly a valiant attempt, but couldn't hook any fish. We did get one bite, but nothing connects. So I've taught on this itty bitty little hook, size 12, I believe. And I'm gonna put on a little night crawler. I was hoping to catch something on the artificial, but just didn't happen today. So we're gonna thread on this night crawler. Okay. All right, we're gonna cast this in, let it flow down with the current, and hopefully we can catch a fish. Cool thing about creek fishing is you know the fish are there. There's literally nowhere else for them to go. So really it's up to you to catch them. No excuses. All right guys, I'm stalking this fish. I can see him in the river there, but I don't want him to see me. It's one thing about these creek fish, they're pretty freaking smart. They can see you from a mile away. Where'd he go? There we go, got one. Finally. Leave it to the old night crawler to do the trick. <clears throat> wow, these river river fish are really strong because they're always swimming in the current. Constantly swimming, getting stronger every day. Not like those lake fish that just sit around. Look at that fish. Okay, hold on, let me get the big camera. Check out this fish. I don't want to take it out of the water for too long. These trout are pretty finicky. They're not like ocean fish. Beautiful fish. Look at that trout right there. It's got a little scar on there. Probably from like a bird or something. But there's that trout. Beautiful colors, full tail, not like those stock trout in the lakes that hook that little size 14 right in the top of the mouth. Should pop right out. Yep, no problem. This fish is gonna be nice and healthy. If it was sunnier, those colors would be even more lit up, more pronounced, but still a cool fish. Definitely an interesting little marking on the back there. I would guess from a bird. Could be a bear, who knows. But let's get him back in the water. I said it before, I did a little creek fishing video before with these fish, but they don't get big like those stocked, you know, steroided up fish. But these fish are a lot stronger for their size at least. Because they're swimming in the current constantly, always getting stronger, so. Alright guys, last cast time. Guys, that's gonna wrap it up for today. Something a little different than I normally do. I'm normally out in the surf or in the salt water, hunting baked fish. But fishing these little streams can be rewarding too. So thank you guys for watching. I'll leave all my gear linked in the description below if you want to check that out. I assure you those spinners, even though I didn't catch any today, those are good for these river fish. Fishing the river can be pretty fun. I mean, like I said before, you know the fish are here. There's nowhere else for them to swim to really up to you to catch them so all in all these fish are pretty dang smart one of the smarter fish and tougher fish to catch actually you know, I was using four contests and honestly I think it might have been too heavy I probably would have gone lighter if I could have just another kind of fishing trying to expand the diehard fishing brand going from uh, tropical tuna fishing to freezing cold river stream fishing almost kind of a shame to say that I wore sweatpants for this my only pair of pants that I ever for fishing so anyway 
Thank you guys for watching. We'll catch you next time.